This is Sparta! If you had to rank yourself on a scale from 1 to 10, what would you give it? I give myself a solid 9.8. 9.8. Mm -hmm. You must mean Los Alamos, not Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Alamos? Do you know where I am? Yeah, not in reality. Who's most likely to take you home tonight? <laughs> I mean, I know this answer already. I know you guys want to take me home tonight, and that's fine. Yeah. All of them. How you, know, how you know they all want to take you home tonight? Because I exist. Can you hear that, guys? Just because she exists. Huh? Are you gonna take me on a date tomorrow? Will you take me on a date tomorrow? Nunca. Nunca. Eh? He said nunca. Will you take me on a date tomorrow? Encountered a gym creeper today. Obviously, this guy's not dressed for a good workout. And he just kept wandering from machine to machine, staring at girls while they were working out. And I literally stood next to him for so long and he didn't even notice me. This is so annoying. We come to work out not to be leered at. And yes, I did record, uh, report him to... I can't wait for the day that the woman records me like this and reports me to the front desk, to the owner. I can't wait to see who gets kicked out of the gym faster, me or her. I, I don't know how you do it in the West, guys. But here, things don't work like this. They don't. They just don't. To the front desk and show them the video. What a creep. So let me get this straight. You followed him around the entire time, watching him, recording him. He didn't look at you and you didn't catch him on film actually being a gym creep and staring at another woman. And he's the gym creep? Uh, I make too much money to let that shit happen. What? How much money do you, what that, what, what, how much money do you make? 30,000 a year. How much? That's not a lot of money, man. Not even for Romania, that's not a lot of money. 30,000 a year. How much money do you make at the end of the year? I make 14,000 a month. I'm not impressed. Of course you aren't, of course. <laughs> I didn't ask you people, but I told you how much I make a month. I would rather watch you get crushed underneath a barbell than be seen as a gym creep. I'm not a gym creep. Men are waking up. They don't want to be recorded. They don't want to appear on camera as a gym creep. Luckily here, that this is not a trend, guys. Nobody does this. I ain't going anywhere near it. It's a trap. Go to the gym and work out, not record yourself and, and post yourself online. You go there to work out. I have to send. Yo, I'm cancelled now all over the internet. People spitting at me on the street. Mikey, you got some news. Uh, yeah. Tiffany's no longer my girlfriend. Thank God, dude. That woman was the craziest person I've ever met. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. She's actually, we're engaged now. She's my fiance. It's, uh, she's no longer my girlfriend. She's my fiance. What the hell, Mike? I am so sorry that she's your fiance. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's come after me. Okay, great. You're a girl boss. Great. You're a doctor. You're a lawyer. You own your own business. Making six figures. Great. What are you working? Five, six, seven days a week. What are you working? Eight hour days, nine hour days, 10 hour days, because you are such a girl boss. Okay. So basically you don't have time to be a partner. You sure as fuck don't have time to be a mother and anyone that marries you and wants to have a kid with you, you're basically going to have to give up all that. And what are you going to want to do as a girl boss? You're going to want to claim your independence. You're not going to want to give those things up. True. So naturally to a man who's ready to have those things that has money, you're like the least ideal candidate. Part She's right about this guys. No man wants a boss be. In his life, he wants peace. He wants a feminine, submissive woman, not a boss B. Partner, I can think. Are you down for one dollar margaritas? Are you unsure? Go yeah. For it. I'm sorry. For what? I'd... No, I get it. No. I'd be interested in talking more. I had a good time though. I feel really bad because, like, I did like him a lot, but also I don't want to 
not leave my options open, I guess. That's what happens with most women today, guys. They always think that grass is greener on the other side. And it's not. It's not, ma'am. They always want to leave their options open. It's just sad. It's sad. Would you like to see Xavier again? Yeah. All yeah. right. From the grave. <laughs> it was more fun talking with you than the other guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> so after she talked to all the other guys, she now wants to go back to him. If he says yes, if he accepts, he's a simp. He's a simp. Don't be a simp. Don't. I do have to hit the button, though. Yeah. Good for play, you. I don't play Good second for you. chances. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I was just practicing the song I am supposed to sing at my sister's wedding. And my three-year-old nephew, Parker, goes, Alexa, off! <laughs> I'm supposed to sit here and be like, oh, I want to be a 10. Yes, it's called self-improvement. <laughs> you can't yeah. self-improve if you're a 10 out of 10. Tell me. But I'm perfect. I'm a princess. Me right now, what I have to do to make drop, myself a 10. Drop the attitude. Uh -huh. <laughs> that would be it. Wait, 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 not even on looks, ma'am. You're not a 10. You will never be a 10. If you ever want to humble yourself, just ask your boyfriend to take a picture of you because somehow that mother <laughs> will take the ugliest picture of you possible from the worst angle and then he has the nerve to be like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the one. Like, you look... Look at how she talks about her boyfriend, guys. That's a lucky man. A lucky, lucky man. Look beautiful. And I look at the picture, I'm like, are these screenshots from <laughs> Shrek? Like, I look <laughs> horrific. It is something in our gut. Like if we if we know that a girl is promiscuous, it's like somewhere in our fucking reptilian lizard brain or some. Sure. It's like I don't know if just if she's, like if I feel if a man kid, can't provide for me, I'm scared. Exactly. Right. If a that man is can, an evolutionary. Yeah, it's evolutionary. Right. Yes, it's called evolutionary biology, guys. However. And women can try to dispute this as much as they want. They won't change thousands of years of evolution just because in the last 50 years they want to be boss bees. They don't need a man. That's just stupid, guys. That's just stupid. We, we are developed. No, it's not evolutionary at all. Yes, How it is. It's sure, based on society and like the tradition that has been upheld by society i could see how women would want men for to provide for them in the past but evolutionarily like biologically yeah, yeah. it's no like you're providing for yourself you're fending for your own oh my god oh my god i don't wish this on anybody i don't wish this on any country but ma'am if a war starts in the usa Feminism will go out the door just like this, guys. Just like this. It's revival. And you're so still, those women you know, in the Stone Ages were supposed to go out and kill their own animals and feed themselves? It is evolutionarily and biologically, but it doesn't mean... I get what you're saying, though. So we have... That's how most women look when they do their lips. <laughs> this is just vanity lifting, guys. Just so people can see how much you lift. That doesn't build any muscle. You can barely hold on to the weight. The traits that you just described are a high value man. A high value man. You think he's more common? How can a high value man be more common than a pretty girl? Pretty girls turn 20, 21, 22, 23, 25 each year. Thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions. High value men are just a few. Then a girl that makes real money. Not, just because they say that doesn't mean that's true. A lot of women are not good. That's true. <laughs> Sense of the male population you think uh, hit high value. I mean, it depends on what you're considering high value. Everybody's obviously Let's say you want a guy that's different. six feet tall, right? You said you want six feet bare minimum. Mm -hmm. And then how much do you want him to earn per year? 
six feet. Men that are over six feet in the USA are only 14%. 100k, 200k, probably over 200k. <laughs> and 200k is just about 7 or 8 percent of men out in the USA. How? I don't understand how does she not understand this makes no sense. Chris, pull out the calculator. <laughs> I'm going back to you. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in the calculator. Okay, let's see statistically speaking right now. Let's go. You scored a perfect five out of five cat bag. I will say that if you ever want to be humbled, just work in a male-dominated field, okay? The other day we had professional headshot day and I was excited, you know, woke up, actually did my makeup, was feeling 11 out of 10 this day. We're all in line to take this professional headshot, like a yearbook picture, it was so cute. But it's finally my turn and I get up and I'm so excited to take, you know, my first business professional headshot. And the photographer goes to take my picture, doesn't take it, walks away, and then grabs paper towels and comes back. Keep in mind, this is happening in front of everybody. And he hands me the paper towels and he goes, your face is too shiny. I'm gonna need you to wipe that off. I can't edit that out. And I was like, <laughs> you want me to wipe off my Charlotte Tilbury? Nobody cares about your foundation, ma'am. Nobody, nobody. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> That's not the bar you should use, ma'am. How, how are people... Oh my God, this is so cringe. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.